peace. It's your sister, Shasta. I just want to share with you a transparent moment of me showing or my maturity in relationships and being taking accountability for myself and my actions towards others. So I am still friends with an ex. I'm actually friends with a few of my exes. But this particular ex, I am still really close with. We were friends before we became partners and all that sort of stuff. And he's still going to be my friend until, you know, God takes one of us from this realm. So we were having a conversation about what happened between us and things like that. And I told him the truth. I'm not going to share that with you. He is aware of that. Um, you know, but I know I've said here before that our plan was to come down here to the valley together until he didn't because of things, you know, our lives just started going like this in separate directions. You know, we weren't on the same path anymore. And so in having the conversation, he, you know, I told him when I ended the relationship that because of out of my respect and love for him, I would never come back to him. God forbid if this, what I'm in, doesn't work, which that is not my plan, you know, but we plan and God laughs. That's what you were saying. Um, you know, that I would respect him too much to say, oh, well, this didn't work out. Let's try again. I can't do that. And I'm not going to do that because I respect him and I love him too much. So when we talked the other day, he asked me, he was like, he said, what if I want you back? And I re I reminded him of what I said because that's the thing. I'm not <laughs> going to do that. You know, he has said that someone had asked him, you know, what if, you know, you guys are in a place where you both are single and all these different things. He said, well, you never know what, what happened. And we don't know, you know. Um, but I say the, that to say this. I told him that I have to live with the decision that I made to end this relationship with him. Because being down here alone was challenging. And he said that he had a conversation with someone who just recently moved here that we both know. And he told him the same thing. So he kind of understood where I was coming from in saying that because, you know, even though he and I talked daily, we saw each other daily in our conversations, not having someone here to lean on not just emotionally but physically was tough because my love language is touch and I love to be held I love to hold you know and it's difficult when there ain't nobody here and so you know in our conversation I just told him that anything that I'm experiencing now is I hold myself accountable you know because you know relationships are not roses like they say some roses smell like boo boo but um I, I listened to myself and I don't know if he listened to me but at that moment I saw it as a sign of maturity that the decision I made is the decision I have to live with, you know, whether good or bad. And in that moment, for myself, I felt 
<laughs> I felt good, you know, because, you know, like I said, I told him the truth and that about why I made the decision I did to end our relationship. And, um, and I know he's okay with it. You know, of course, that's not what he wanted to hear. Of course, that's not what I wanted to say. But I had to let him know. But at the same time, I am never going to make him play second in my life. No. If he's not going to be first or anybody that I'm with is not going to be first, you're never going to be second in my life. That's just the bottom line. And so I just had to share that because it was just a moment that I was like, hmm. And like I said, I really and truly hope that he understands how much I respect him as a man, number one, as a person, number two, and as my friend, number three. Because he's always going to be that. Because we were that. We were better friends than we were partners. And even to this day, we're still way better friends. So that's what I wanted to share. That moment of what I saw as maturity on my part. And sometimes, you know, we still have to deal with people you know, even after relationships end. Now, it's different for us because we don't share children, but for those of us who have children with exes, you know, hopefully, God willing, you know, we all can have great rapport with our children's uh, parent, you know, that we can be cordial. I just got to the point of being cordial with my youngest child's father, my ex-husband, you know, but then we don't talk a lot because now she is legal, adult, you know, we don't really need to have conversations anymore. But if we ever speak, we are cordial and you know and respectful cordial and respectful and that's something that we you know really need to be with the people in our lives that probably won't be in our lives in the way that we expected them to be maybe I'll talk about something that my pastor mentioned when I was going through my divorce and it could be something that's helpful to all of us. Yeah, maybe that'll be one of the conversations. But I just wanted to share that moment. You know, because it still, a few days later, it's still resonating with me. That I was able to do that with him. And like I said, he probably doesn't realize that that was a moment for me but if he sees this you know but anyway that's all I got for this video because I know I haven't been on class woo classes so just so you know I have finished my math class math has a lot of writing why I don't know it's math this math class 101 was not a regular math class. Not what I was expecting. But right now I'm holding a B. I don't know if it's a solid B or whatever. I'm just waiting for my final project to be graded. Because even though I will accept the C, I don't want to see because that will bring my GPA down. And I don't want that. You know, I want to stay in this 
4.87 that I have. You know, I know I don't think I'm gonna ever get back to a 4.0, but I'll take this. Um, my writing class is going good, it's business writing. I'm about to rewrite my sales proposal for this class and finish up some things because I want to be finished. The cl ad class is over on the 18th, but I want to be done before then because I want to just be able to relax and everything before my other classes start in January. But that's the reason why I haven't posted. My classes have taken up so much of my time, you know. Subscribe if this content is interesting. I am working on becoming a better content creator. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If not, you know, it's okay. Leave a comment. If you feel like there's something that you want to hear me talk about, you know, like I said, I'm going to share something about divorce that I went through and words of encouragement that my pastor gave me that, you know, um, is something that I want to share. And then also, you know, some other things that I heard during my divorce that still resonate with me 